Welcome back to the Suburban 47 Sports Cave. Time for Ask the Analyst. And we, <laughs> it's Ask the Analyst, but I gotta say, I saw a lot of non-questions on there with the hashtag. Just statements. Um, yeah, statements. One statement in particular, fire Brad Osmus, which again, not really a question, but we can talk about that in a second. We're gonna start off with an actual question. Um, staying with the Pistons, Isaac tweeted at us, SVG has been rebuilding since he got there with little success. It's year four or five, who is keeping him? accountable and he says extend him and I'll puke so <laughs> apparently this whole situation with the Pistons is making him ill uh, who's keeping SVG accountable himself yeah I mean, that, that was the thing that stood out to me when they hired him is that he will call it what it is and he'll call players out and uh, he, he won't uh, he won't shy away from telling you exactly what's on his mind and that is that includes himself he, mm -hmm. he's accountable uh, and to say that he's had no success that would not be accurate you know, they did get to the playoffs and they played very well, though they got swept by the Cavaliers. But that's what provided all the hope and promise for last season. And when things didn't turn out, yeah, the disappointment that would ensue. But there has been some success. They hadn't made the playoffs in seven or seven or eight straight years before yeah. he got them there. No, and Greg, I know that, you know, that things have been, that there's been some issues. But that Stan Van Gundy is the kind of guy that who never missed the playoffs before in a full season before he came to Detroit. He has a high standard. Obviously, he's got to be accountable as well. But it's not like he's not doing everything he can as both team president right. and coach to get things going. I just hope the connection between him and the players is better this year than it was last year. Yeah, he, I will say he does hold himself accountable. Yeah. Uh, we, the media, love talking to him because he is going to give it to you straight. Oh, yeah. um, and you don't get that soundbite practice mm -hmm. rehearsed stuff. One of the rare guys that does that. No, really rare. So we really appreciate that. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about the Tigers. This isn't really a question, but... I'll read it anyways, and we'll talk about it. Tigers have one chance to get this right, says Jeff Sparbeck on Twitter. They must receive legit top-tier prospects for their assets. They don't get a redo. So this whole idea, you get one chance to get this right. I mean, in sports, that's not true. The team is still there. I mean, even if they don't, even, so even if they do what we were talking about earlier, and they move just Justin Wilson or something like that, yeah, fans are going to be mad. But sure. I mean, the team's not going away. The fans aren't abandoning it forever. I think what you have to look at is that they're, they're, fans are angry because they're used to this decade plus of being a contending team. And you can't forget the 90s. I mean, that was they were one of, along with the Pirates and Clippers, worst win percentage teams in like 30 years in sports for that decade. So don't forget that. But at the same time, you've got a Justin Verlander, you got an Ian Kinsler, you got a JD Martinez. You've got to make the right moves. You're not going to hit on everything. I mean, right now, Daniel Norris, who is part of the price trade, he's not pitching as well as he could, but he's still got an upside. He's still very young. If you get legitimate prospects and do the right kind of things where you're not, you know, getting totally fleeced by someone else, the majority of times it's going to work out in, in ways that might take years down the road, a couple years down the road. But there's enough things you can do mm -hmm. that gets this team, I think, with a chance in two, three years to be a contender again. So, like I said, the comments, fire Brad Osmus, they just keep rolling in. I keep I keep updating this thing. And yeah, that's just such like, a hot take, oh, fire Osmus. I know, right? Everybody's going to get on board with that. Remember the fire Millen thing? I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's that the guy at the top or somewhere near the top is always the easiest target. Yeah. And then if you fire them and things continue, they'll call for the next guy. It's yeah. Sort of Sorry. how sports goes. Sorry, guys. I don't think firing Brad Osmus is going to fix the Tigers' problems. All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.